What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Today, for some reason, I'm feeling like I'm rocking a lot of Batman. Got the Batman shirt on, got the Batman hat on, even the Batman belt on. And uh, it is another great Saturday, and so I'm bringing you another great tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over how to begin to use two swords at once. You've seen me do a bunch of two sword videos recently on Instagram, maybe recently, but you've seen it before. And so I've gotten, I feel like you guys would enjoy a two sword video so today that's what I'm giving you all right so for our swords I'm gonna be using these twin machetes right here and these are stainless steel and super sharp so if I mess up it's not gonna be very fun for me so just you know to add a little edge to the video I guess but what we're gonna do is work on a basic combination that can help you learn how to use two weapons at the same time especially when they're fairly long as opposed to like you know small knives now disclaimer I know there's a bunch of stuff happening with YouTube right now I just want to just want to get this across the board um, number one this video is not for children so uh, just if you are you know a ten year old you shouldn't be playing with two swords that's just how that is so keep that in your head and at number two don't be dumb I am often very dumb like doing stuff like that so uh, if you want to get the amount of scars that I have and the amount of stab wounds that I have you go for it but if you want to play it safe and actually be smart um, don't use swords when you're learning this use sticks or PVC pipe or whatever you can that's similar in shape but not actually sharp. Don't go into this using sharp weapons. I've been doing this for over 17 years, and if that's not you, I can't suggest doing this with sharp weapons for the beginning. You did mean it. So, with that announcement and, you know, clarification out of the way, let's go into the tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our two machetes in our hands up in our guard position. For right now, this will be a guard. I know there's other types of guards you can have. You can have a reverse grip. There's a bunch of different guards you can have, but I'm gonna show you our normal standard basic guard from right here. Both swords up just like this. This is probably the best angle for you. So, so from here, we're gonna work on a three-point strike. First strike is gonna be coming from our right hand and it's gonna come across. Now, because you have two swords, you have to keep both swords in mind and the position of both weapons in mind whenever you're doing these techniques, obviously. So, whenever you come to strike across the head right there, you're going to take your other sword and you're gonna fold it under and allow yourself to come through, just like that. So, one. So once you're through, you're gonna take your second sword since it's already folded under, you're gonna come across and take that same striking pattern one more time. So just, to, oh, so all together it's gonna to look like one going under, one, and then two, just like that. Now the third strike will be one, two, and coming through and finishing, and it should put you in the same guard, but on the opposite side. So you can do this back and forth non-stop. So again, starting with our guard, our front hand in front, our back hand behind, folding under, strike one, strike two, strike three. And then you're gonna do the same thing, folding the front guard, strike one, strike two, strike three. Just like that, except you don't have to move your hand, your legs, I just moved them so you can see the sword a little bit better. But when you do this in a fluid uh, motion, you're gonna get something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Turn it sideways so you can see it a little bit differently. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is what will give you the beginning of your sword, du dual sword combination. Now this can be done in other ways. You could also have the reverse grip with the swords and doing it the same way, but in a reverse grip would look like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Always aiming to chop with the sharp part of the blade because hitting backwards doesn't really give you the same effect. So again, you could do it in reverse grip. So just remember, these are swords, these are sharp. So when you're practicing, I strongly suggest not doing it with something that could stab you. I have enough stab wounds to have probably learned from, but I still do the stupid stuff anyway. But so what I'm saying now is don't do what I do. 
do what I say because that's probably going to be a safer way to do it for you. But that's going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more double sword tutorials like this or maybe a little bit more advanced stuff where you can do the, uh, the tosses or the tosses at the same time, which I'm not going to do right now because I don't want to stab myself. <laughs> but if you are interested in that stuff, definitely let me know down in the comments because I can cover it if you so choose. If you, you know, ask me enough times, I'll, I'll get to it. I promise. It might take me a second, but I will get to it. But, so with all that said, thank you guys for checking out the video. Make sure to subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff because my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.